Why the world needs better GNSS antennas. So what's the problem? In days of old, the only GNSS in the sky was GPS, and the most commonly used PNT signal was L1. But then along came GLONASS, followed by Compass Beto, and coming along continuously is Galileo. GNSS antennas now need wider bandwidth. That's a new requirement. More sinister is the fact that the overwhelming majority of GNSS antennas have single feed patches. Here's a little secret. Single feed patches have circular response only at resonance and are highly elliptical away from resonance. A single feed patch tuned to 1590 MHz so as to receive GPS L1 and GLONASS G1 is circular at 1590 MHz but elliptical at GPS and GLONASS frequencies which means it has a very marginal rejection of cross-polarized signals and poor multipath rejection. And you thought your antenna was circularly polarized. Talisman has developed a family of economically priced, flexible designs in both housed and embedded formats. These antennas have the bandwidth to cover one, two, three, or four constellations, all the way from Beidou B1 to GLONASS G1. So where traditionally the price or the size restricted the selection of dual feed antennas, Talisman antennas fill the void. Talisman has the antennas for a changing world. Take the technology one step further. Talisman is awaiting patent approval for the new TW4421 and the TW1421. These antennas set a new standard in the market for compact, high-performance antennas covering GPS L1 and GLONASS G1 signals in a single dual-feed patch antenna. The compact size, wide operating voltages, and temperature compensating amplifiers make these antennas ideal for applications where size, weight, and power are issues. Even more recently, Talisman has announced the availability of dual-feed antennas covering Beidou B1, Galileo E1, and GPS L1 in our full family of products. We have also announced the availability of the TW2710 and TW3710, which cover from Beidou B1 all the way up to GLONASS G1. To show the effectiveness of a dual-feed antenna over a single-feed antenna, we conducted a practical road test of three different talisman antennas in an urban canyon of Ottawa, Canada. The first antenna was a talisman 4020. It is a wideband, single-feed antenna covering GPS L1 only. With a single feed, a single constellation, and a single frequency, the accuracy observed with this antenna is as best as one can expect. The next antenna tested was a Talisman TW4320. It too is a wideband single feed antenna, but covers GPS L1 and GLONASS G1. As expected, with the availability of more satellites, the accuracy is improved. The one area where there is a departure from the road is where the vehicle was pulled over to the curb to change the antennas for testing. It is a good illustration of the effect of urban canyons on antennas. The final talisman antenna tested was the TW4421, which is a dual-feed GPS L1 plus GLONASS G1 antenna. Clearly, this antenna provided the best overall performance, showing the superiority of the dual-feed antenna. A Talisman customer has authorized us to show the results of their independent test of the TW4421 versus a competitor's single feed antenna. They move the antenna around an open field in Texas. The red line shows the results from the single feed antenna. The blue line shows the results from the TW4421. Once again, practical tests illustrate the higher precision provided by a dual feed antenna even in unobstructed environments. With the addition of new constellations and new frequencies, traditional single-feed antennas just don't have the bandwidth to meet the needs of the commercial GNSS market. Dual-feed antennas have the bandwidth to reliably cover a wide range of signals. Talisman dual-feed antennas provide commercial systems with the benefits of high precision, high signal availability, compact size, flexibility of use, ease of custom tuning, and economical price. So when precision matters, contact Talisman.